Hi everybody, my name is Natalia Manakhova. I'm an artist and curator. I was born in Moscow, Russia, but now I live and work in the south of Italy, in a beautiful Calabria, in a small town, Scalia. As an artist and curator, I mainly work with video. Um, I have been curating the International Bad Video Art Festival since 2017. It is a non-commercial artist-run festival. We make it together with my husband, Andrei Slashilin. Um, but video is not the only medium that I like and that I use. I'm also engaged in site-specific art practices. I like to work with locations, paying attention to small things, like non-spectacular artistic interventions in public spaces. Um, in Moscow, I used to participate in an annual project, Warm the Spring, led by the artist Alek Ivanov. And I miss this project very much, really. Uh, we made shows in the back streets of Moscow uh, without any authorization, naturally. In my works, uh, in my works, I explore the artistic view and the role of the artist as a self-exploiting actor. I like to think of art as an independent form of life, like mushrooms for instance. But while I know why mushrooms are here, I don't know why art is still here. If we consider it as an occupation, then it is probably the most useless occupation today. But I'm still an artist and I guess art unites, at least us artists. Um, I don't know how I do it. It just happens. Um, I live my life just as everyone else. Um, I wake up, make breakfast, take my daughter to school. I have to work for money. Uh, for the moment, I don't have a permanent job. So I have to think about it also. Art is part of my daily life. Um, I am never on vacation. I discuss it with my artist friends uh, that um, we can't just go for a walk or let's say fishing or traveling or drinking uh, without starting a conversation about art, without mixing up your life with art, without turning things you see or do into art. Whatever you do, it's all turning around the same point. And it doesn't matter how long it takes until these conversations or some video footage turns into a piece of art. Well, I started really late for an artist. In fact, I have an MA in linguistics. I graduated from a university of foreign languages and I went to an art school when I was around 30 <laughs> and it has completely, completely changed my life. I studied at the School of Contemporary Art free workshops by the Moscow Museum of Contemporary Art and I'm very grateful to people who founded that school and have run it for years, uh, uh, Daria Kamushnikova and Yuri Shabelnikov. Uh, they changed my life. I find inspiration in my daily life, daily routine. It can be anything from going for a walk or talking with somebody or watching movies. Uh, I'm a huge fan of your trash and I pay a lot of attention to titles in such movies, their style, their color, or they're fascinating. I like playing with um, typeface in my videos. Um, I also enjoy, I enjoy walking without any purpose. 
uh, drifting and looking around. I find inspiration in different things. Uh, they can be anything. And it doesn't matter whether they are old or new, beautiful or ugly. Um, it can be garbage or a modern building. This can be people passing by. Uh, once I had a personal show and um, somebody wrote in the comments book that anybody could film passes by. And I thought, oh, that's nice. I can call myself the artist of passes by and started using it in my works. Um, I like to think that every passer by is a hero. This idea is often used in Jello movies, for example in The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, where a passer by who accidentally witnessed a murder becomes the main character. Um, well. I want to say that um, these are small things you see or hear that inspire your art practice. I'm not looking for them intentionally, I, I don't invent things or situations. And one more thing, as I have already said, I curate the International Bad Video Art Festival. And artists who participate in the festival really inspire me and uh, they give me strength to go on uh, go on filming, go on practicing art they have taught me a lot and I love them I love you if you are watching it occasionally <laughs> at metamorphosis I show a video work Manachova go live in uncertainty Manachova is my surname, so that's me, living in uncertainty. I have a friend, an artist, uh, Roma Mokrov. He used to tell me, oh, go live in uncertainty, just do it. Um, and I didn't understand uh, what he meant. Uh, now I understand. Metamorphosis means a transformation or a change and my life has changed and I wonder whether my artistic view has changed uh, and I don't know the answer. Well, I mean that my life has changed uh, rather suddenly um, and at the moment I'm on the road to I don't know where. <laughs> I was picked up by a hurricane and carried away with all my feelings are like Dorothy with her house. Um, many Russians left their home because of the war Russia started against Ukraine. Uh, well, I understand that having a chance to leave is a privilege. I had this chance and I used it. I didn't want to stay there anymore. I didn't want my kid to go to school there. Well, things like that. Uh, and now I'm a refugee in Italy, <laughs> waiting, for, waiting for the approval or cancellation of my status. Um, but let's go back to art. Um, what does a person feel uh, if their perception of time and space has suddenly changed? As if time and space have stopped existing. Or rather they have stopped existing for this person. And, oh, and although I am alive and I have the same name and body, I am outside the life that was mine. It's a strange feeling. So I don't know where this metamorphosis will lead me as a person and as an artist. Um, I have already made this video and then I saw this open call and I thought, well, my video fits perfectly well for the theme of metamorphosis. And why do they have to look for more? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>